Welcome back to another episode of Big Talk, where we skip the small talk and talk big ideas, big goals, yeah. big vision, and big dreams. Sav. Six dub in this bitch, man. I'm handling the stress, weighing on my mind. No. We sit down with an extremely talented musician who's collaborated with other talented artists such as Jay Chan and Uso Rob. His music is gritty, real, and packed with dope, dope lyrics. So today we're gonna get you, this is some good Cambodian street food. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best foods that's out there, and it's not because of mine, because I tried a lot of food, obviously. So uh, let's, let's dive into what's going on over here. Besides, tell us about Sea Hut. Man, Sea Hut, you know, uh, shout out to my boy Da and Mora, they're the amazing owners of Sea Hut, and also Sibo. So, from drinks, special boba drinks, to sandwiches, to uh, little uh, plates, platters, samplers. If you guys ever get a chance to come out here to El Grove, make sure you guys stop by, you won't be disappointed. Sav's passion and for storytelling actually led him to write his book called Fall of the Phoenix. It is actually based on his late brother's inspiring story about deportation and redemption. Zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. Uh, real quick. Whole squad and that real shit. Zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. Uh, real quick. Whole squad on that real shit. And I ain't knew that this. My parents survived the killing fields. The real struggles and the horrors, man, they kept it real. Rolling with the angels, but they dressed like demons. Wonder if they ponder life as human beings. And about the money, it's the way we live. So to sit down with you is freaking, you know, awesome, bro. Like, pleasure to be here. Man. From recording music to I just learned that you do video as well um, and entrepreneurship I mean how did you acquire all these skills man how, what did this all come about take me to the beginning like man. tell me about Sav so I think Sav came from the community centers uh, that I that I went and, and attended you know after high school um, there was a few spots but the one that I think that shaped me the most was this place called the bridge um, and if, if you're from Modesto, everybody, like Kamai people would know about it. It was a spot where um, Kamai people, you know, the old folks can go there and get everything translated for them. Uh, so there was a few people there that would be there to help people out. You know, they would <clears throat> get paid with grant money at the same time. So hmm. uh, everything was like, it's a non-funded organization. Um, but I feel that some of my art came from there um, as far as like the music and the, the, the digital, you know, working with you know, video and whatnot. Uh, there was a person, his name was Osa, Osa Pia. Um, he's a filmmaker, you've probably heard about him. Osa, uh, you probably The same him. Osa we think, yeah. I'm thinking of Osa Kuhn, right? Yeah, Osa Kuhn. Okay, Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, he uh, he helped me figure out that I was more inclined with music. He was there to teach the piano, uh, he, show, he showed me how to use this program called Cakewalk. He taught you how to play piano or he... Yeah, well, he I sort of watched him and yeah, he would, he, he would, he would play. He just he just played so I I guess the 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 part of playing piano is I I, I wasn't afraid to touch it and make some songs and stuff I, I, mind you I don't read notes and all that I play by ear like if you're an actual artist you just play and if it sounds good it sounds good you know so um, I'm, I'm not a great piano player but it just it, it, that stemmed from everything else like how having to find my rhythm he would play beats and stuff like he would make beats and I watch him I, I, I follow like the beat who would make like, oh, beats Osa this guy Osa makes beats he was making beats yeah this guy's incredible. and he plays a piano yes and he taught you how to play the piano yes, yes. wow for me you know at least like give thanks to whoever helped shape my life you know a lot of people don't do that it's right. horrible you gotta give credit credits too that's why i appreciate you having me here because i look up to you oh man it's crazy man yeah. like it's 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 same it, 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 we just bounce off each other man that's that's a that's Thank a beautiful you. part about this you know and and um going back to the bridge yeah i think that's the bridge that's, huh? that's where Sav came from then um there will be days where I would have these moments in my life where I, I go to the park, man. I'm, I'm wilding out with the kids out there and I'm doing things I shouldn't be doing. There were times where I was at the wrong place, you know, and man, I'm thankful that I, I'm, I'm here, you know. But uh, going back to, 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 to the bridge and stuff, like, it taught me how to be more smart about things, man, because people who make moves and they, they do it, like, carelessly, life catches them, you know, and, and you can make the wrong mistake and it's it's something that I want to point out to them, especially with the music that I've done. Like I'll write songs based on stuff that I've seen or heard. Like for example, my brother, um, like they they were some crazy gangsters, man. Like like just the mentality they had was 
It's like why, you know? But then you trace you trace it back to what may have like like caused that. And it goes back to us being refugees, you know, and it's sort of I take that and I try to bring it into like my persona of, of who you know, who I am and what SAP represents and it represents like struggle. You know, like yeah, you, you could have came from this horrible family, your parents were a piece of shit, you know, or, 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 or this and that and, and, and you didn't have this but at the end like you came here with nothing. You know, and I'm gonna leave with nothing. But I'm gonna create everything I can while I'm here, you know, just to show people that there is still life in me. Because <clears throat> when it's all said and done, I, I feel a big part of the Kabbalah community are still suffering, and they, they have like PTSD, you know, and it and it it streams down to the kids. You pick that up. Your mom, my mom was always anxious about things. My dad was scared about everything, you know. And and yeah, you see, you see other Kamai you know, Kamai people who you know didn't care about it. They ran through it, you know. Even do, even going through what Pol Pot did to them, they're still able to open up donut shops and this and that. But I'm tired of hearing that. Yeah, it's great. You got a donut shop. Let's, let's do food now. Let's let's represent come out people in dif different directions, like what Jay Chan is doing with music and stuff, and re reviving that music that we loved listening to back you know back then. That's amazing. Like, and and now that I'm here at a restaurant that's owned by a Khmer person, that's it. It solidifies my thoughts of that I am. I'm proud to be Campbell centric, and I'm 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 gonna rep that as hard as I can, and, and, and do it in America because that's 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 the beauty of this you know this world, this country that we live in. You know, not necessarily the world, but the country we live in. So I'm able to do that and not get. You know, condemned for it, you know. And so that's, that's Sav. Awesome. Sav is, is a Khmer embodiment of a root that got uprooted from so Khmer and planted here in America. Wow. Yeah, I swear to God, see your boy don't make it. Take your shots and hand it, see your boy don't chase it. Just give me all the money, I ain't trying to be famous. I'm tired of all this walking while I'm hopping that plane shit. I told my mama I just want to live good. Cause it was hard to see her struggle with the fire with no wood. To all my brothers at the hustle, always up to no good. Slanging dope in the hood, I take it back if I could, so I can educate them. Wow, what? Nah. Thank you. We got some garlic fries. fries. Bomb. Okay. Alright brother, this is the first five of Nong Pang. Nong Pang. Okay, so we got we got some uh looks like some psych go. Psych truk, psych go. Psych go. Okay, we got some karat. What's that white stuff called again? Da daikon? Or daikon. Is it? Yeah. Daikon. Yes, and this this orange sauce right here. Looks delicious. Looks delicious. Alright. This is my first attempt at Nong Pang. Here at Sea Hut. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's him. Wow. Okay. Now, the, the first thing you taste is the sauce. It sort of coats the mouth with that flavor, so everything else just like grabs onto, it, like the lemongrass. The cilantro that's in there, giving a nice little spicy taste. Wow, and the bread, it's very toasty, it's soft on the inside, get a little crispy, you know, outside shell, it's delicious. Now keep in mind that you are also, you're a cook, you, yeah. you, you get down. This is amazing, I'm, no, I'm not a chef anymore, compared to this, this guy's a chef, this is amazing, good job, wow, wow, this is amazing, man. What's up everybody? Uh, I'm here at Rich's shop right now, man, he's a uh, great uh, uh, barber from what I hear, so we're gonna go ahead and do a little haircut and talk about how he came here and become one of the best barbers in, in Elk Grove, so uh, stay tuned. Yeah, that's amazing, actually Rich heard of your music yeah. and uh, watched your video. He, he kept mentioning a long time ago. So that was, how did that feel? I felt good. Um, first time meeting Rich, uh, looks like a stand-up cat, you know, he, he'll take care of you. Um, but yeah, it's it's um, it's nice to still hear that, that people, you know, know who you are or at least seen your work and actually have some positive feedback to give to you about what you've done. So that felt good, man. Um, yeah? It's it's always nice to hear to, to, to hear people, you know, hear your music. You know, right. Get that recognition. Sometimes it's, that's just, you do it for that person, you know. And if they're still gonna listen to you, that's fine. Yeah. How did you get into music? Um, 
man going back to uh, osa uh, and, and and from the bridge yeah from the bridge it worked it eventually worked up to um another good friend of mine his name is uh sopek say uh people know him as pack or pat uh one of my best friends growing up man he had a studio at his at his pop's house and at the sticker shop in Modesto. So we would go there after school and stuff, and he'll put on a, a fresh beat. You know, at that time it was the hyphen movement, so it was a lot of Bay Area music type of sound. So we would go there and try to spit some bars, and man, it, it I wasn't as good as it was, you know, you know, as I am now as far as writing, but I feel, man, that it, without having that, you know, that experience with him, I, I wouldn't be where I, where I am as far as music and be able to, to do certain things that I do now. Um, so I appreciate him so much, man. So Peck, if you see this, man, that's for you, bro. Um, you know, that's that's cool. Um, yeah, eventually I, uh, you know, met up with with Jay Chan. You know, and seeing him, you know, growing up with him in, at, at, in Paradise Six Twenty. You know, it, it was um, it was an opportunity that I, you know, I wanted to, to to take because I know he was he was getting he was getting somewhere, and I, I wanted to do something for the coach, so. I figured why not collaborate with, with Jay Chan on a few songs and he, he reached out to me and you know we sort of you know, talked to each other but eventually we, we got to doing three or four songs and you know um, it's it's an experience that um that I, I'm always gonna remember growing up you know now until you know I die you know so uh, I know that it's gonna be something in 50 years and now people are gonna appreciate and they're gonna you know show the love you know so. Yeah, get him chan, ayy See, I know you like my style Bong on me around We've been talking for a while Throw me bong roach out We can hop into my whip And watch me flip a 180 I'm the captain of the ship And you consider my lady Yo, why you driving me crazy? You just want a Mercedes In the man I hold you down When you feel a bit lazy And I go and mention my name They probably tell you the same Long a Clyde, white back guy Jeffrey Dalsaray And you with that one, two And bring it back to your legs Bet you never met a man That can spit two ways A young kid out in Cali Rapping Clyde on lay When you see me in the streets I'm riding in both flames And you looking really sexy Go and turn this way And your man is only trouble Go and come my way Now go and hop in the plane We're heading down to LA And we gon' fly to Throw Kamai When I make this play Twelve rounds untouched I hit you where it hurts I'm the champion of the king's Bloodline gon' burst Techniques unmatched That one on one don't work So if you go against me You better train and rehearse Feels good to do that man Wow, so you actually recorded more than one song with you, Chad. Yeah, yeah, I think we got like three, you know, four, you know. Uh, hopefully work on some more music soon. We actually got a show coming up, so uh, December will be in Modesto, uh, December 28th, Anchor Hall. So hopefully, I wasn't the first one to tell you, hopefully your Jay Chang puts that out. Uh, but I'll see y'all there, man. It means a lot to me that he is, is, is willing to collaborate with me because I know that this is the modern day since much. Uh, the experience of just touring with him, going to Long Beach, going to Fresno, meeting up with all these people, meeting up with you. Um, man, it's been very humbling because it shows that if you network, you have the same energy that you know you get what you put out. So lately I've been putting a lot of good energy in and I've been seeing it come back. And um, Being successful is one thing, but <clears throat> being fulfilled is a whole different thing. And I feel like I'm fulfilling some of these areas that need to be fulfilled. You know? My boy Rich right here. What's up, Mom? Say what's up to the camera, man. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Rich. So Rich, you actually discovered uh, Sav a while back. Yeah, a long time ago. I'll be uh, looking at rappers, Cambodian rappers online. I'll be supporting them because, you know, there's not so, a lot of us doing that. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do something, we're going to go hard at it. Yeah, yeah. So, yep. Hey man, I spent like a couple days on it, man, working very hard. Um, you know, get through all the, the, the writer's blocks, but it got deleted and it, it, it sort of discouraged me from going back and doing it because all these other things were, were being uh, left unattended when I was trying to do this. And so, um, slowly coming back into it, trying to get my ducks back in a row. Um, my daughter's doing good. Um, she's, she's healthy. Uh, she's passed her first year, which is the most important year, um, I, I guess, when you have a child. So she's through it, she's growing, she's getting bigger. So that means I could take the foot off the gas on her a little bit. I could focus on what it was feeding my soul, uh, you know, before she came, and and I need to get back into it because I don't I have I don't have much time left here, you know. I don't I don't know where I'm gonna go. I'm not here. To, I, who says I, I'm gonna live till 60? Uh, tomorrow might be might be my last day. So um, I am I am gonna be 
full throttle on, on finishing. I'm gonna call it the fall of the phoenix, um, and it's about a, a story of, of my brother, uh, who who you know, son of a refugee, you know, um, growing up in Modesto and, and and going through the hard street life of, of being a gang member and and doing time for murder when he was he was you know 13, you know 14 years old, finally getting out, you know, and and eventually getting deported back to Cambodia where, you know. Where everything started, you know, um, and becoming a, 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 a wonderful tattoo artist out there, meeting meeting with a lot of Australians and foreigners, and traveling around Asia. Um, it, it's it's a tragic tale because the very day that he passed away, the night before, the day before, uh, he had just finished putting up the shelves in the first library in Siem Reap, I believe that's the city. And that very day, uh, uh, he, he finished. Uh, he had a video you know, stating what he did, and that was the last time he posted something. And, and you know, come to find out, he was he was stabbed to death by another another deportee. Uh, I believe he, he was from Philadelphia. Uh, he's still on the run. Uh, that shows you how corrupt the government is. I believe he paid off the cops. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that's going on out there that's just it's horrible. But um, I want to get the, the story out there to show people that you know you can still earn your way into heaven because I feel like that was his passage. I feel like that was a calling from God that, hey, you know what? You did this. This is your way in. Because his whole life has just been mischief and, and doing this and doing that. But I think he wanted to redeem himself by doing that. And, and that was his way in. So, yeah. The Fall of the Phoenix. Um, I am I am uh, battling in the idea of, of opening my own food joint um, or at least something to deal with food. And, and that's going to be my cuisine to be exact because there's not a lot of places where I'm from where you can get yourself some beef sticks, you know, some some good slaw, you know, and, and I feel that if, if somebody goes out there and, and does it, it's going to motivate another person to go out and do it. Uh, that's why I'm here visiting Sea Hut. Uh, thank you to Mong Ta for showing me, Mong Na for showing me his place because that, that, that makes me feel more motivated to go out there and do that too because if he can do it, I can do it. If I can do it, that means you can do it. So, um, don't ever let anybody stop you know your dreams, and don't listen to any people who are going to be you know negative about what you're trying to do. Just listen to yourself and, and what you have on the inside. Um, the whole goal of my life is to be fulfilled, um, and whether I'm going to leave here with money or without money, as long as I fulfill what I have on the inside, um, then that's that's a life worth living. So, uh, that's it. Yo, good looking out. Thanks, Already. man. Already, off to town. Yes, thanks for having me here, man. For real. Um, Thank damn. you for, you know, being here and supporting me. Yeah, I'll no support problem, you man. and everybody else out there for real. That's where they, where can they find you at, Rich? They can find me on El Gro Floor and El Gro Boulevard on Pro Cuts and Spa. And I go everywhere to cut hair too, so it don't matter. I get it. I'll go to your house and cut your hair. Ladies, house calls. Already. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, as you saw, we visit Da over at Sea Hut and had a wonderful meal. We also sat down with Rich Yun and had my boy Sab. Got a nice little ball fade, was looking really good. So some of the stories that he shared with us was very, it resonated with me because I feel like as a Cambodian, as a refugee, as an immigrant, uh, being here, this is the land of opportunity. And there's so much that we can accomplish, but what are we really utilizing our skill set and what's in our DNA, what are we using that for, our knowledge? So now you're here, let's make something. Whether you're an entrepreneur, an entertainer, a musician, an artist, or barber, a fitness trainer, member, remember, excuse me, to keep on doing it big. That's saying blessed, intelligent, and gifted. It's your boy Size, signing out. Peace.